Hey everyone, this is Lewis the Savant, and today we will be going as well over Stellar Lumens XLM. Um, it's currently at 38 cents. Uh, the current market cap of Stellar Lumens is 8.7 billion. The total volume in the last 24 hours is 2.2 billion. Circulating supply is 22.5 billion XLM. The popularity on Coinbase is the fourth most held. Wow, that's actually pretty intriguing to me. Um, typical hold time is 16 days, and the trading activity is 58% buy, 42% sale. Uh, I would definitely, um, ooh, it's got three humps. Um, is it, do they not have an about? Okay. Uh, about Stellar Lumens, Stellar's cryptocurrency, the Stellar Lumen XLM powers the Stellar Payment Network. Stellar aims to connect banks, payment systems, and individuals quickly and reliab reliably. Um, all right. Uh, this paper introduces a new model for consensus um, called Feder Federated Byzantine Agreement. FBA achieves robustness through quorum slices individual trust decisions made by each node that together determine system level quorums slices behind the system together much the way individual networks peering the transit decision now unify the internet we also present stellar consensus protocol scp a construction for fba like all Byzantine agreement protocols, SCP makes no assumptions about the rational behavior of attackers, unlike prior Byzantine agreement models, which presuppose a unanimous accepted membership list. SCP enjoys open membership that promotes organic, organic network growth compared to decentralized proof of work and proof of stake schemes. SCP has modest computing and financial requirements, lowering the barrier to entry for potentially opening up financial systems to new participants. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this section right here. We need a worldwide financial network to op that's open to anyone so that new organizations can join and extend financial access to unserved communities. The challenge for such a network is ensuring participant record transactions correctly with a low barrier to entry. Users won't trust providers to police themselves. With worldwide reach, providers won't trust any single entity to operate the network. A compelling alternative is a decentralized system in which participants together ensure integrity by agreeing on the validity yeah, of one another's transaction. Such agreement hinges on a mechanism for a worldwide consensus. I'm gonna go ahead and pause. And part of the problems they plan on solving is decentralized control. Anyone is able to participate with no central authority dictates whose approval is required for a consensus. Low latency, which that just means the, the times for the transactions are pretty fast and can be done within a couple of seconds. Uh, flexible trust. Users have the freedom to trust any combination of parties they see fit. For example, a small nonprofit may pay a key role in keeping a much larger institution honest. An asymptotic security. Safety rests on digital signatures and hash families who parameters can realistically be turned in turn to protect against adversaries with an unimaginably vast computing power. Um, as an investor, you probably don't care about that. Um, let's go pause. All right, from there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the Stellar website because maybe it is, who knows, easier to uh, understand from this. Stellar is an open network for storing and moving money. All right, cool. Borderless, limitless, powerful. Stellar makes it possible to create send and trade digital representations of all forms money dollars pesos bitcoin pretty much anything it's designed so all the world's financial systems can work together on a single network stellar makes money better 
Stellar's API and SDK um, software development kit, if y'all didn't know that, um, are ready to help you transform the world of finance and the network's current connections could give even a small company the power to reach up an international bank. Here's what you can build with few lines of code. Global payment apps, which is pretty clutch. Um, asset exchanges, which is pretty clutch. Um, micro payment services, which is pretty clutch. Uh, and designed for developers, which is pretty fucking clutch. Um, okay, we got Circle. We got Bitbond. I don't know what Bitbond is, but you know. Um, but everything that I'm getting from Stellar is more or less um easy, borderless, which just means it, uh, nobody gives a fuck what country where you're from, but you're able to make transactions. If I wanted to buy something from China using Stellar Lumens, I could do that, and I don't have to worry about fiat currency or the taxes, the fees that I probably would get. I'm not, I don't, I doubt it's on the Ethereum platform, but even if it is a small gas fee, hopefully they fix that with the Ethereum 2.0 that still isn't out yet. Um, my thing on Seller Lumens, uh, because it's kind of been tied with XRP and XRP since December has kind of had a bad rap and a bad go from where it was at. Um, personally, I don't know much about Stellar Lumens. Um... I would still see it more of as a currency rather than an actual asset because they're trying to make it as such to where it is used for payment um, or and accepting payments rather than like how District X is literally a platform helping decentralized networks build on more platforms. Um, band protocol is a thing that helps uh, it's, it's more of a utility and or service to where they link protocol together the the infrastructure of cryptocurrency is able to talk more to each other i would i would definitely equivalent um stellar lumens comparable to zcash even though zcash is more of a how they say privacy but it's still used as a currency stellar lumens is still up there it's been developed it's fucking been here since what 2013 2014 in development and still hasn't reached its all all time high, so as an investor, I might momentarily invest this, just big bag the fuck out of it, and maybe it'll hit a dollar this year. Who knows? Um, but that's Stellar Lumens, more of a a currency platform rather than anything else, and that is it for Stellar Lumens today. Uh, appreciate you guys like watching and shit, and like thanks. Hey everyone, this yeah. is Lewis as Avant. Um, uh, I'll also go by Rozzy Reviews or Rozzy the Zemi because I'm going to be using this outro on multiple channels. So if you would like to support me, um, I'll probably put Cash App links and all that other shit. But I've helped my mom create a candle business. So I'll put the link in the description below and probably add the, um, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, QR code. So you can just scan the screen and be able to see our website on your phone. So conveniency. Um, this is this scent particularly is uh lemon and lavender which honestly it smells fucking amazing not 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 saying that because um you know my mom makes them but like it literally like it, it's a, a delicate not delicate but like a delicacy like a, a, a delicate scent or it's, I, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck i'm saying i don't know what the fuck i'm saying but it, it's called sacred flame um up there right there yes sir uh the next thing is my clothing brand um as of 121 21 2021 um i will still be trying to overhaul my site and create new products but still my clothing brand is zemi i will put that in the somewhere some, some well, okay here we go right here right here i'm gonna put that there and as well as put the qr code um and uh oh shit all right so i have this this product it, it's called mud water it's a coffee alternative um, for those who are trying to get off that jitterness of coffee, for me, it like I bite my nails like horribly because I'll be on coffee and it'd be giving me anxiety. But um, I'll put the link of this in below just because I feel like it'll help benefit you guys. Um, I've today's actually the third day that I've been using this, and I haven't drank coffee at all. Maybe it's because you know I'm not getting all that amount of caffeine compared to what this like six grams that I use from this container. Uh, if if you really want to see what it is, 
it looked like dirt, but it ain't dirt, all right? But I've definitely been feeling the benefits, especially today. Everything's been seemingly and feeling great. Um, appreciate you for coming to the end of the video, but if you do, would like to support me, definitely either buy a candle, buy one of my clothing items, or hit the referral link below. Y'all have a good day. Appreciate you for even just watching the video. It definitely means a lot to me because it's a it's a lot going into making a video that you don't see behind the scenes and, and definitely time put in. But um, thank you guys. Appreciate you. Love you. Respect you. Peace.